The Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 2. Hutas ein in arche pras tan thaan. Translate, this one was in the beginning with God. This hutas here is, of course, referring back to the Logos, right? The Logos who was in very nature God, who was in nature deity, and who existed from all eternity past. This one was in the beginning with God. You'll notice that John likes to use um, these demonstrative pronouns. And just to remind you, what is the demonstrative pronoun? Well, in English, it's this, that, these, those. So in Greek, hutas... Haute tuta, right? This is the masculine, the feminine, the neuter. This, 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 or uh, the far demonstrative, ekenos, that. So you'll, you'll find that John's style, his idiolect, uh, lends itself towards using lots of demonstrative pronouns where we usually translate them in English as personal pronouns because otherwise it would sound really laborious to have so many demonstrative pronouns in in English, in an English Bible translation. But we're going to translate real literally here. So this one was, and that ain, hopefully you know that from the last verse, right? That's just the imperfect indicative third person singular of the verb me translated was. This one was, and we, we noted in the last verse how Greek prepositional phrases, the object can frequently have a definite sense even when there is no article, right? There is no te there. Uh, there is no article there, but frequently um, uh, the object of a preposition in Greek will have a definite sense depending on context. So this one was in the beginning with God. So the Logos, who is distinguished from God the Father here, is also in himself, in essence, deity.